Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is keys and rooms. There are n rooms and you start in room 0. Each room has a distinct number in 0, 1, 2 to n minus 1, and each room may have some keys to access the next room. Formally, each room i has a list of keys, rooms i, and each key is an integer, uh, blah, blah blah, where a key opens the door with number inside here. So initially, all the rooms are locked except for room 0 and it says you can walk back and forth freely but that's kind of irrelevant because we don't we don't really need to run into cycles here uh, we're going to return a true if and only if we entered every room so this is going to be a classic depth first search problem we start at zero we know that for a fact and what we'll do is go down every path here we can see that we can go to room one and then room two and then room three and that would mean we visited every single room in here, which would be four rooms. Here we see there's like a list now, so we can start with visiting room one, then we can visit room three. But you can see here with zero, we'll go back to zero, right? And you might see like a cycle going on. With this problem, there's no reason to ever visit a room that we've already visited because we're gonna go through every single one in there anyway. So we're not gonna get any new information. So we'll have to have some sort of hash to keep track of every room that we visited. If we've already visited this room, then we don't need to continue. At the very end, what we can do is just look at our length of the hash and say if it's the same length as the number of rooms, that, me that means we visited every single room. Otherwise, we haven't, so we can return a false. So what I'll do is write a depth first search function, and what we'll do is pass in the room, which is going to be an integer. Uh, first thing we'll do is add this room to some sort of hash. So I'll call this visited and we're gonna make it a set. You can make it a dictionary if you want, but I will make it a set. So we'll visit this room. Now for all the rooms inside, or I should say keys inside of rooms room, we wanna do a depth first search. So what we'll do is visit every single room inside here, but make sure that we haven't visited. So if I not in visited, then we will continue our depth first search. Otherwise, we'll just continue. And at the end, here we'll call our depth first search, starting with room zero. And we could just return whether the length of visited equals the length of the rooms. So what I'll do is test both of these here. So the first one should be true and the second one should be false. And it is, so let's go ahead and submit it. And accept it, there we go. So time complexity wise, it's O of N because we'll be visiting every room. At worst case, we'll visit every room just one time. And we have a set here, so we have to have O of N space as well. That's it, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.